The Hinchy classification is a scale of increasing severity, going from mild or simple diverticulitis all the way up to perforation with faecal peritonitis. And the management of patients with diverticulitis varies depending on what Hinchy classification they have. Hinchy 1 refers to when a patient has developed a pericolic abscess, which is basically an abscess adjacent to the clonic wall. Most of the time, we can manage these patients in the same way as we do with mild diverticulitis. So with analgesia, IV fluids, and broad-spectrum antibiotics, again, most likely through the intravenous route. In Hinchy 2, the patient has developed a collection or an abscess that's sitting in their pelvis. In terms of the management of these patients, you can see that there's definitely a pattern, as our initial management is pretty much identical to how we manage the earlier classifications. However, in some cases, particularly if our patient is not improving, we may have to ask our radiology colleagues to perform a percutaneous drainage of the pelvic collection. And by doing this, and getting rid of the pus, this usually allows the patient to settle and recover completely. In Hinchy 3, rather than the patient having a contained collection of pus, the patient actually has free pus that's floating around the abdomen. In terms of management, now obviously we're going to give them IV antibiotics, as well as IV fluids and analgesia. If the patient remains relatively well, despite the free abdominal pus and responds to the above measures, then this may actually be all they need in the acute management of their condition. However, if they're unwell and demonstrating signs of sepsis, or if they fail to respond to antibiotics and IV fluids, then we'll need to take them to the operating theatre for surgical intervention. The aim is going to be to wash out the abdominal cavity and get rid of all that horrible free pus, and achieve control of the surgical source of sepsis. The last and most severe of the Hinchy classifications is Hinchy 4, which describes when the patient has faeces or feculent fluid that's floating around the abdomen, which is really as bad as it sounds. As you can imagine, these patients are really sick and very, very septic. And if they're going to have any chance of surviving at all, they're going to need to undergo an emergency laparotomy, as well as having urgent IV antibiotics. IV fluids, analgesia, and support from the intensive care team. So to summarise the Hinchy classification, if the patient has an abscess, then it's a Hinchy 1 or a Hinchy 2. And we treat these patients with IV antibiotics, plus or minus percutaneous drainage. If our patient has free pus or free faeces, then it's going to be a Hinchy 3 or 4 respectively and we treat these patients with IV antibiotics and IV fluids. And in the case of Hinchy 3, if they're septic and they fail to settle on non-operative management, then they're going to have to have surgery and a washout, either open or laparoscopically. And in the case of Hinchy 4, they're going to need an emergency laparotomy. <laughs>